Welcome back to AP Precalculus on under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 1.3 is coincidentally also about rate of change, so essentially it's very similar to my last video. This video is going to explain a few more things about rate of change and that'll be it. So we've been twiddling with this idea of average rate of change over specific intervals. In a linear function, the rate of change will always be the same no matter what interval you assign to it. This means that the average rate of change is changing at a rate of zero. On the other side, in quadratic functions, the average rate of change is changing at a linear rate. The thing with quadratic functions is that if you ever find the average rate of change over any interval, you'll simply be calculating the slope of the secant line created in that interval. This means that the rate of change will never be accurate to the actual quadratic function. If you were asked to calculate the average rate of change at a specific point, like in this equation, where it says to do it at x equals 5, simply find what y equals at 5 and what y equals at a point right next to 5, so we'll go with 5.001, label them, then plug them into the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and solve. If you modeled this on a graph, you would be finding the slope of the tangent line between these two points 0 0.001 apart. On the screen now are questions you should be able to answer for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. See you in the next one.